And they're involved with people too. I'm having some fun. Because the relationship that you have with these individuals at level one, they will then be, will be willing to put their credibility on the line for you. That's networking. So if you really want to understand networking, it's my ability to ask to develop relationships and to seek through good quality social networking tools like LinkedIn, I can find out who Brian knows. And Brian will know who I know. And I'll say to Brian, Brian, if there's anyone in my network, anyone, that you would like an introduction to, just give me a call, drop me a note, and tell me why. And if you build a compelling case, you got it. I'm your connect. And the more I know you, the more I can share in my introduction to my friend about you. That's network. So, so let me give you some things that have happened in my network. Okay? Because individuals say to me, well, but why are people doing this for me and this for me and this for me and this for me? I don't know them. No, but they know me. Because I was the one with the Kleenex at 1 o'clock in the morning helping them out four years ago. So that's their way of reciprocating back to the individual. We have individuals in our network that have helped individuals walk the resume over to the decision maker. We have had individuals walk the resume into HR. We've had individuals to say, telling them this is how the interview is going to be. This is the compensation of the organization. This is the things that you need to go through. This is the way to park. This is the fastest way to get there. This is how the, you know, the relocation program is. Lots of information, but so much more can be gathered through your network as well, not just about the job. So for, so for instance, if I'm working in a specific role, and I'm supposed to do some specific project, that I'm like, wow, I'm a little uncomfortable, and I'm uncomfortable about asking it within my realm because they're going to think I'm not qualified. I go into my network to find out, and here it is, great information. That's what businesses do. It's called business intelligence. Oh, God, this is too much work, man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <coughs> Just listen to him. It's awesome. I lost 10 pounds. You know, it's like, I just prefer the black hole. Man. I prefer the black hole. I prefer to look at an opening. I got my job search agent and cling, 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 resume out done. That's easier. I love that. I can feel that. And I got time to watch Wendy and anyone else. And I got my walk and I can do my pound cake and whatever. People laugh because I've been in the trenches. I know what goes on. I'm in it every day. Yes. What do you do when you obviously have connections and someone in your network has sent you, let's say, two vice presidents that you in fact want to speak to? And I'm going to back saying, gee, you know, let's get to the coffee or something. And you don't get a response. Someone's obviously networked because they sent you a request to link with them. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what else to do next. Okay, so why don't you come on up? Okay. Hello, Kim, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice. You're the CEO of okay. Kim. Yes. And Kim, Price. great. Okay, so the question is, someone sent you an invitation to join them on one Do you know them? No, I don't. Okay, so what's your next move? Because they were a vice president of the company, I sent them back a note saying, gee, I read about your company, um, it's doing something unique in an area where I have some background. I'd love to talk to you. Can I buy you a cup of coffee? Okay, so I'm, I'm the initiator of a link, of a connection. Right, and I respond. Okay. Yes, I'd like to with you, and then I send them this note. Okay. Well, that's actually quite good. If, if that's happening, that's really good. Um, I don't know how I got it, but it's a good. It's a good signal. If you're getting consistent with these types of notes, that what you're, what's in your profile is. If you want to connect with me. Okay? So typically what I do 
is I'm going to send the note out to say, let's say Kim is doing that to me, and I don't know Kim. I said, Kim, so I'll write a note, Kim, forgive me. Have we met? Right? So, and I sent that note out to say, you know, is there something that, because some individuals, they actually are not who they say they are on LinkedIn. It happens. You know, like in anything, there could be imposters there, right? So that way I get a chance to, oh, yes, and now you know why he wants to connect. So the reason, yeah, no, I heard you, I met with you, I did with this, you may have forgotten. I want to establish how do we know each other. 50% of the time when that happens, they do not respond. They're either, they're either not who they are or they're networking jerks, drive-bys, or drive-throughs, and I'm not interested in networking with those types of people. Right, to me, networking is high touch and high tech. Okay? So, in your position that you got the, the, the back, right? what I'm going to look at is, I would accept, in your case, which is unique, I would accept, but before reaching out, is I want to know who he knows well, that I have in common. They're part of two companies which I have tried to reach out for, for jobs, and one of them happens to be vice president under a gentleman who I have right. connected with. Good. So, so my plan here and the strategy is I want to know who do I know that knows him, that I have a fairly good relationship with. And I realize that Mark is, we're, we're both connected to the individual. And I give Mark a call, hey Mark, how you doing buddy? Hey, everything's good? Yeah, family, enjoy it. Did you go more for hamburgers or hot dogs? Mm -hmm. Hamburger or right, hamburger? Yeah, 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 okay, good. Got a quick question. How well do you know this person? Oh, I know him really well. We actually, you know, work together. Blah 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 blah. Because he sent me a LinkedIn, and, and I accepted. But tell me about him because I'm interested in working in his organization. And Mark tells me blah 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 blah. Mark, I said, no, I know him really well. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have we're gonna be play golf together on the weekend. Oh, great. You know, love to. And now this is where I, then I would do my work and say, in the organization, there are two openings that I'm a really good fit for. I'll give that to Mark and arm him to just talk about it. Not that he's going to walk to the golf course with it, but at least he'll have enough information so that they'll chat about it. I'll follow up with Mark and then work my way around. So every one is just a little bit, it's a little different. There's always strategy. All right, so that's the way I would work it out. So I should go back to the person who was the president of the network with originally. How well do you know him? So I'm not going to go that route. I'm going to go with individuals I know well. So when you look at LinkedIn and the profile, a little further down, it's going to say, this is what we'll cover on Saturday, the kind of the mechanics of all of this. It's going to say, who do you know in common? So you might know 15 people in common. I want to pick who are the best relationships I have and ask them, how well do you know this person? And then figure, and then that's where I'm going to start from. Start there. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Super. Good? So that's a question. Was that before accepting? Oh, no, I would accept. I mean, with somebody that I want to network, you know, potent the potential state, yeah, absolutely. I'm looking, I'm interested in their firm, yes. But I don't want to leave it there. If all I do on LinkedIn is just accept and never, you know, go, what do I have? What do I really have? All right. Rod, we have 12 more minutes and five minutes for questions. Sure. Uh, quick question. I have a phone in the well, you stand up so I can Sorry. <laughs> Marlon, medicinal chemist. Uh, I made drugs for a living. Or used to. Which organization? Pharmaceutical. Which uh, one? Wise Pfizer. Uh, uh, Pfizer. How long? Uh, 10 years. No, no, when was your last stay? When were you? Oh, last? I was at my last company for a year and a half, small biotech company. We were working on antibacterials for. Okay. Uh, neurotoxins like anthrax, so sarin. Within the last three that. years, were you at any major? Uh, yes, I was at Pfizer. At Pfizer. Okay. And they acquired, well, why? Just hold, just Pfizer. keep this thought. This whole thing. There might be an opportunity for you to be part of a program that I'm involved with. It's called Lead Your Career. Yes. Are you familiar with it? Yeah. You want With uh, Vicki Gaddy? Yes. I know Vicki. Are you going to join that group? Me. Are you going to join that group? Uh, I was coming here. No, no, I'm saying is you can that. stay here. Yeah. But because <laughs> in essence, talk to me afterwards. Gotcha. It's a powerful program of which um, you know you don't want to leave it this break, but it's a program <laughs> that is in the evenings once a week for eight weeks, and you get an assigned coach, and that's all paid for. It's a powerful program. I'm one of the coaches. 
and we've been able to help many get back on their feet. You're system. working with Abington? Yeah, she's my, she's uh, we're faculty on the team. Okay, so go ahead with your question. Okay. You see how you connect just by listening, you just connect and ding, ding, ding. I had a phone here. You had a phone here. Well, he said that uh, they want to bring me in for a real interview, and they sent me an application. This guy's on LinkedIn. I, I researched him back and forth. Is it okay to ask him to invite, even though we're in a kind of a situation where he's evaluating me for a job? Right. No, you do not. Okay. Do it after. Oh, 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 oh. 